large part of their training is done at their individual schools. Some of the children are also doing private lessons all right, with their instructors at their, their individual schools to, to put together their weapons forms, you know, their individual weapons forms, their open forms. And basically what we do during the team practices is tweak everything. All right, maybe something that the, the instructor might have missed at the school, or just add some extra tricks on. Christopher was recommended by, by Sensei John. He, he just said he's got great energy, and he does. You know, he said, Mike, uh, I got this little guy, Christopher. He's got all this energy, you know, he loves to fight, he loves to do weapons, and he, and he wants to go out and he wants to compete at other tournaments. And I said, okay, well, let's, let's, let's give him, a, I'll bring him into one or two of the practice, and you know, we'll see where he's at. Christopher's never afraid to try anything. That's a big part about putting Christopher on the team. You know, just, just his energy level. You know, he's, he's always going, he's always moving. Last spring, um, he had a very difficult time with, a, with his teacher overall and which caused him, I think, not to do his best in school with Star. He'd come home crying off the bus, which would trigger his asthma. Um, he was so sick last. It, he just fell behind because of that. He was totally mentally spent. He couldn't even keep up. So he was tutored. We, we got in a tutor for him and tutored all through the summer. But uh, huge, yeah. huge improvement. Well, you know what it is? I think that you could probably take that you know, back to the dojo where, you know, he knows where he should be and I think he knows how to close the gap. He knows to go to Sensei and say, I don't understand this, work with me on it. I think he was in a situation at school where he didn't know how to close that gap. Maybe just being a, a smaller guy in, in the world, you tend towards the individual sports, maybe where you're challenging yourself rather than the, the collective of the team. He's never going to have the size to be uh, a really good football player. And if he does like to compete and he likes to compete to win, Maybe this is better for him because he's no, uh, more instead effective. Instead of going in front of you, what did mommy tell you? Catch it and go right behind you. Don't bring it across. It looks flat. Don't bring it across. What's he going to do after the catch? After he catches it, he should start spinning it in the same direction. Yeah, that's good. A teacher told me that um, you can play instruments. That um, I learned the... Um, the cello can learn uh, Jaws. And I'm like, oh my god, I want to do that. I, and, and it can also learn some more cool songs, like Mary Had a Little Lamb, and a couple other really weird songs. It became like um, really fun, and, and, and I, started, I started to get a little interest. Along with the three girls, Alana, Bailey, um, Sabrina, Zach, and Greg, they were they were they were one of the original. They were five of the original six that I started with, especially at the boys level. For some reason, at this 15, 16 year old level, you don't get many boys that go out to the America Kick tournaments right now. And it's like, I think, I want to I want to fight. Zach likes to fight. Winning has never been yeah. the most important thing to him. What's been important to him is you know going out and doing the best he could. The things I worry about most is he's so hard on himself when something doesn't go right. When he feels he hasn't had a good demo or a good competition, if he feels he hasn't performed well, if he feels he has not done his best, I'm going to hear that wasn't good, that wasn't good, that wasn't good, that wasn't good. That's the hardest thing and I'll be like, honey, that was great, it looked good and he'll be, oh, that wasn't, that wasn't, that wasn't good. That's, that's the hardest thing, it's not watching him fling himself around like a monkey without a rope. It's, it's more the emotional side of it. Some competitions look for flips, extreme tricks. I go to the, the, the gym airborne on uh, Fridays for an hour and a half every week. Uh, I practice, you know, uh, back flips, front flips, any kind, anything I can practice without hopefully killing myself. His injuries from karate are very minor. The only time he's seriously injured himself is walking down the flight of stairs. When he's, he's always been very injury prone, so yes. it's nothing. I mean, even from very little. So well, it's something yeah. we've gotten used to with him. Yes. <laughs> the only thing that does bother me is that he doesn't know how to slow down and heal. Yeah, he doesn't give himself you know, enough time to heal. Full speed ahead all the time. 